If you want to save battery and fix battery drain issue on your Oppo A8 5G, let me quickly show you what you can change. So first of all, let's go to the settings and I will highly recommend you to start from the Google section, which is located here. Now we have to wait for the loading screen and now go for the all services. Now you'll have to go for devices and sharing, open devices, and be sure that you switch off this scan for the Nerby devices. Then we have to go back and we have to go for location, which is located here, move to the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth scanning, and also be sure that you simply turn it off. And if you are not outside, if you are not using Google Maps or your navigation, you can also turn it off because it actually takes a lot from your battery. So now we have to go for the battery. And when you are here, you will have to go for more settings. And then be sure that you switch off the high performance mode. So as you can see, it actually increased the power consumption and heat up our device. Uh, of course, it speed up our phone, but if you try to save the battery, be sure that you actually turn it off. Then go for the optimized battery usage. And as you can see, there are some apps that actually are not optimized. So select automatic optimize for every application that you actually use often. So it will actually decre decrease the battery usage. And also you can simply turn on the power saving mode but you can also go for the battery usage details. And as you can see right here, we can find what ap applications are taking the most of our battery. So we can go here and optimize this battery usage uh, by simply turn on the brightness, change the screen, timeout, close battery draining apps, and set 60 Hertz refresh rate. Now let's go back from this. And now it's also very useful to remove all apps that you are not using. So as you can see right here, we can find a lot of bloatware and this apps also connect to the Wi-Fi in the background, to the mobile data, opening process in the background and takes a lot of your battery. So be sure that you uninstall anything, I mean everything that you are not using. And then I will also recommend you to go into the notifications and if you have some apps that you are not using and they send you a lot of notifications, you can just simply try to turn off all of these notifications. Then we have to go for the display and the brightness. And it's also very recommended to turn on the dark mode because it will significantly decrease the battery usage of your phone. And uh, when you go into the connection and the sharing, we can find print. So open it, go to the default print service and click on the switcher to simply turn it off. Right now, I can also recommend you to switch off the quick connect. And if you are here, when you go to the Wi-Fi, uh, let's say that you are currently connected with your mobile data. You are outside, so you don't need to turn on the Wi-Fi. You can just turn it off because it will also drain your battery. If you are in your home, you can just go back and turn it on. And the same with the mobile network. If you are in your house and you are connected to the Wi-Fi, you can switch off the mobile data because as you know, in this phone we can find 5G and the 5G drains a lot of the battery. And the same with the Bluetooth. When you are not using Bluetooth devices, you can just simply turn them off. If you want to turn them on quickly, you can also do this by using this quick settings panel. And that will be all. Right now, tell me if it works and please subscribe to my channel.